morning guys back with another jiu-jitsu vlog for y'all uh today i'm headed to davidson county bjj to get some rolls in i am also getting promoted from purple belt to brown belt very excited about this it's a it's a big moment some gyms do it different some gyms you know do it like uh kind of like a surprise some gyms you know about it ahead of time some do it like on the podium you just win a big tournament and it's on the podium i don't know i've had i've been at different gyms where they've done it and you know about it i've done them where it's a surprise and to be honest with you i don't really know which i like better yeah so and then another thing is we are a week out from the fight from adolfo and i we're fighting on if you guys don't follow me on instagram or anything like that of course it's nef 57 all the smoke in bangor maine it's gonna be awesome guys that's april 20th um after i post this you'll have a couple days to you know make plans and stuff like that if you want to go but i'll have links in the bio for shirts and tickets and pay-per-view if you want to catch that april 20th um yeah man Again, guys, same vlog, different day. April 14th, next day after getting promoted to brown belt, and. Oh, I mean, he's durable. I think he's a ghost. Dumpo! The UFC 300 event. What a day, dude. We threw a party. Dude. What an incredible night of fights. That's gotta be the coolest night ever. Like the best pay-per-view, best uh, number card out there, dude. That was just an absolute legendary night. Max Holloway knocking out Justin Gaethje with one second left. <laughs> Made my made my day, being promoted to brown belt on the same day of UFC 300. I'll never forget that. That was that's it was incredible. It feels surreal to see my name and brown belt on an IBJJF certification, uh, as well as like all the other platforms that I'm competing on that are all updated now. It says brown belt, and it's just so wild, dude. Like now I'm competing with brown belts, and the next belt is black belt, dude. I tell you, like when you are a white belt, when you first start out, and I started out in 2014, so 10 years ago, when I first started out, like it's, this is not really what I thought it would feel like. Like, I guess it, it, this is like so much better. Like, I didn't even know what to think or like if I would ever even be here or feeling this or experiencing this. So to actually be here now and having these feelings, it's, it's just wild, dude. It's so cool, man. Um, but yeah, dude, everything is on the up and up. Uh, it's Sunday before the fights, man. Started drinking my gallon water uh, two hours ago, probably, and 
you know, we're a little over halfway. Um, I got another gallon and a half after this, so peeing all the time, man. <laughs>